Hey everyone, it's Pixelate here and welcome back to the channel. I'm a little upset at myself because I'm like an hour late to this patch because I was asleep and I didn't know that I was going to be going up at like 10 a.m. So it probably sound like I just rolled out of bed. I apologize, but this is a big one, guys. This actually might be the biggest patch update we've ever gotten for The Sims 4. This one is long. So grab some popcorn, grab a snack, grab a drink, sit back and relax because today I'm going to be giving you guys a full overview of the patch notes and everything every single thing, at least every single thing that's in the patch notes that's coming with this brand new free update. Yes, it is completely free in case you are new to The Sims 4. So this is the update for June 3rd, 2020 for PC version 1.631331020 and Mac 1.631331220 and console version 1.25. So I guess this includes both the PC, Mac and console patches all together. Oh boy, this is gonna be long. The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack drops in just a mere few days. And since we know that living your best eco lifestyle can take a little extra elbow grease, we've added some exciting quality of life improvements to help pave the way. Between inventory updates, new cast assets, and a surprise partnership, with Mac, the return of two beloved NPCs, as well as some really cool new build features. We hope you enjoy the update. SimGuru Jill and SimGuru Rusky. New and improved features, inventory updates. Fellow hoarders, this one's for you. We have updated the Sim inventory with the ability to filter, sort, favorite, multi-select, and multi-sell in one easy flick of the wrist. Managing that cumbersome pile of collectibles you've been racking up for the past five years has never been so easy. Free placement of doors and windows. Following in true eco lifestyle fashion, door and window placement is now also off the grid, but not that kind of grid. The limiting kind of grid that used to keep you from placing your windows and doors precisely where you wanted them. By holding down the alt key while dragging, you can enjoy the smooth sensations of free door and window placement. Yes. Ladders. Ladders have been added as part of the build system. Find your free classic wooden ladder in the build catalog in the stairs and ladders category. Unlike Island Living's dock and ladder objects for use on water lots, these ladders can be placed anywhere on your lot and like stairs, they can be used as a means for Sims to traverse from one floor to another. Mac Cosmetics. Did you say you needed some fresh looks for your Sims? We've collaborated with none other than Mac Cosmetics to bring you 12 fashion forward makeup assets suited for everything from everyday to night out glam. If you're not already using it on PC and Mac, we recommend trying out the uncompressed sim texture setting in the options menu, which is now enabled by default on the high and ultra graphic settings profiles in order to see these looks really shine. While console versions of The Sims 4 do not have the settings in the options menu, each console spec is automatically using the optimal graphical settings based on system resources. Repo Person NPC. The Repo Person NPC has graduated with honors from Discover University's University of Brightchester with a degree in villainy and has comfortably taken up residence in Bay's game. Now everyone can taste their wrath if bill payments fall behind. Yes, this is awesome. Bill update. Speaking of bills, we've added a cohesive breakdown of Sims bills information that can be accessed via an interaction on the mailbox or phone. Now, now instead of lumping everything together, you can see what percentage of your bills go to water, what percentage go to power, insight into any fees, reductions, or penalties. All this and more calculated and cleanly presented for your finer understanding. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. And I'm so happy I didn't read this beforehand because I really wanted you guys to hear my reaction. Legacy neighborhood map tags. We have gone back and added map tags with neighborhood descriptions to existing neighborhoods that didn't yet have them. We now have delightful icons, names, and descriptions for the no longer forgotten Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, Newcrest, and Windenburg. Okay, feel free to freak out now. I was really excited about this, especially when they showed this in the live stream. Now having neighborhood tags in like Willow Creek and Oasis Springs and even Newcrest is pretty awesome. Off the grid updates, and there are a lot of them. This one is tricky to list out in a single paragraph with a 
attempted wit, so I'll just drop this bullet list off right here. The off the grid lot trait now ties into our new bill updates, drawing from water and power utility. Without excess utility, lots function off the grid as they did before. With excess utility, they function more like an on the grid lot. There is a new off the grid build category that will allow players to find off the grid and survival esque objects. We've done a pass on candles to ensure they properly work when electricity is out. Off the grid supported fridges now have an add ice interaction that will allow them to keep food preserved so long as the ice remains. Sims will now autonomously use stoves and fridges when off the grid, not just grills. Harvestables now grant unique buffs when consumed off the grid. Dogs and toddlers now have a unique interaction to be bathed in bathtubs even when off the grid. Objects can now be cleaned using the use elbow grease interaction, yummy. Players are able to gather water utility from fishing spots in base game. With island living, they can gather from the waterfall. Water can also be gathered from any world with swimmable ocean water. With seasons, water can be gathered from snow drifts. Oh, this is so cool. Off the grid specific buffs will now take into account motives and sim traits when determining if a sim should receive a positive or negative moodlet when living off the grid. We've added multiple new recipes that can be cooked while off the grid given a sim has the proper cooking skill level. Some recipes require special ingredients like the boiling frog hot pot, which adds a really neat survival element to off the grid gameplay while providing sims with powerful new moodlets that will help them survive in the wild. You guys, this is awesome. I'm so excited. This is awesome. And to think that all this is coming to the game for free for everyone at no cost. This is just amazing. And I'm assuming all this is coming to console too because it listed at the top and console is getting the expansion pack on the same day that PC and Mac is, so I don't see why not. If you have a console, let me know if you have a prompt to update today, and if you do, then I guess you did get it. No trespassing. Some people who have the Vampires game pack appreciate Vlad's antics more than others. I definitely don't. I personally love receiving a charm visit from Vlad, and sometimes I could really use a kind compliment about my neck, but we've heard there are a select few that don't quite like having their sims necks bitten and motives tang by an invasive nighttime visitor with no respect for boundaries. Keep vampires and other unwanted visitors at bay with a new no trespassing interaction we've added at the door. Yes! Yes! I've been begging for this. All the memes that I've made about this. Oh my gosh. Send home interaction. Speaking of unwelcome visitors, we've also added a new send home interaction that's available on visiting NPCs or a self interaction in the case of multiple visitors. How is this in interaction any different from ask to leave or go away, you might ask? Convenience. Unlike its less efficient predecessors, this interaction is nearly instantaneous and leaves your visitors with no hurt feelings or relationship impact, so I can use this for the welcome wagon. We added it as a useful tool for players, not necessarily as a storytelling mechanism. Build mode items grant gameplay effects. How you build your lot can now affect your gameplay. Certain objects such as wall patterns, floor patterns, fences, and columns bring different gameplay modifiers. Some of these modifiers affect how your bills and utilities are calculated by decreasing or increasing your power or water utility production or usage, as well as increasing or decreasing the price of bills. Environment score can now be impacted by certain objects and materials. Wow. Drywall walls without wall patterns apply now decrease environment score like they did in The Sims 3. The choice of floor and wall materials used can also affect the ability to spread fire or puddles at an increased or lessened rate. And if you'd rather build your lot without having to think about these things, don't worry, there's an option in the gameplay menu to turn all of this off. Wow, this is awesome. Oh, this next part's gonna be fun. Firefighter NPC. Oh, hey, and speaking of fire, that reminds me. Did you hear that we've added firefighter NPCs to the game? We took nods from classic firefighters Firefighter NPC behavior from The Sims, The Sims 2, and The Sims 3, and added a few small twists for The Sims 4. When a fire breaks out, firefighters will come automatically to your lot if you already have a fire alarm installed. That way, if you still like to let them burn, baby, burn. You can just accidentally forget to place a fire alarm. It's okay. We won't tell anybody. If you honestly did forget to place a fire alarm, you can call the fire department 
from a phone or by clicking on the fire itself. If the fire department is called but there is not an active fire, they will call you on your lapse in judgment and charge you a fine. You won't be punished if there was legitimately a fire that was extinguished before they have arrived though. The firefighter uniform can be accessed and cast and gives any sim wearing it the fireproof buff, which gives them some extra protection against fires as well as makes them more efficient at putting out fires themselves. It's worth noting that the firefighter NPCs do not show up in Island Living Sulani. Sulani already has their local fire brigade to handle these kinds of emergencies and besides, who wants to wear all that heavy firefighter gear in the tropics? That's true, but you know what? This actually has me really excited because it seems like not only did they bring them back, but they changed them around a little bit and kind of gave them more detail than they once had. Especially after seeing that you can wear this firefighter uniform and it does protect you, I guess, from getting hurt from the fire. That's really cool. And you know what? Now would be a really good time to add in a firefighter profession as well, kind of like what we have with The Sims 3 Ambitions. I love that and I hope that we get that someday. Styled looks for tots and kids. More than 20 new styled looks have been added for children and toddlers using existing base game cast assets to better flesh out some outfit categories that previously felt sparse. Balancing passive phone call invitations. After five years of expansion packs, game packs, and stuff packs, our phone call invites were admittedly starting to get a little spammy moments after moving in. You've got Lucas Munch hitting you up asking you to go to the buffs with him then not long after you might have had vivian asking you to join her at the spice festival jeez let me get settled in first why don't you we've added a tuning pass to rebalance all of these previously competing phone invites to give you a more meaningful and holistic experience good i'm happy that that's being fixed less invasive earbuds in the same vein as the above balancing pass we wanted to smooth out one of our more pressing notifications the free earbuds pop up that comes with fitness stuff has been changed to a more passive TNS and gifts your sim the earbuds automatically when it triggers. The days of telling the game over and over that you don't want free earbuds or worse hitting OK by accident is a thing of the past. Good. I'm happy about that. Console updates. Eco Lifestyle releasing one the same day across all platforms marks an important milestone for The Sims 4 as simmers get to play the same content and share new creations on the gallery together. In this update, console simmers have a few additional additional features to improve their quality of life. We have added a new controls overlay reminder that shows up through cast, gallery, live mode, and build mode, which should make it easier for new simmers to jump in and not need to remember all the controls. If you don't want to be reminded and you know all the controls by heart, you can turn off the controls overlay reminder in the game options and then go to other menu. The controller overlay screen remains available for those who want them. Now on to fixes and updates. Oh. God, it is long for the base game. Let's just jump right in. Mac OS players should no longer encounter the set locale.sch error. However, both Origin and The Sims 4 must be up to date. Sims will not have random accessories or clothing pieces when changing into towels. Style influencer Sims can now remove trends they have created with the reset trend interaction. Fix an issue where Sims were not able to care for self after they had been in daycare when they were a toddler. Some roofs were updated to remove the appearance of black sides when placed on ceilings. Active Sims will no longer get a tense moodlet for lack of exercise when finishing exercising. Do you even push up, bro? Sims will no longer get the fatigued moodlet immediately after starting a workout. Now, we know that endurance takes time to build, but we decided to give Sims a chance to enjoy their workout before being completely fatigued right away, and I'm happy about that. Child Sims will now be able to unlock the video gaming skill after they have maxed out their mental skill instead of the motor skill which was causing adult skills to reset for child sims when they completed aspirations. Fix an issue in which some households did not have their names displayed in Manage Worlds. Corrected requirements for completing the great landscaper task that is part of the Mansion Baron aspiration. Fix an issue in which when utilities are shut off, either because of past due bills or off the grid, adding objects from build mode such as lamps would add them turned on. The water pump, fishing hole, romantic gardens whispering wishing well and get famous's luminary exotic water garden now have the gather water interaction when the off-the-grid lot trait is applied 
fix an issue in which the subtle saucer light was not being so subtle and made objects added from build mode be placed randomly when dragged near it. Teen Sims will now see the appropriate tooltip when trying to acquire the fertile trait from the reward store. No, they are not robots. Fix an issue in which some roof eaves were clipping into enclosed blocks. Fix an issue in which the cleanup interaction would drop off the queue if dirty dishes were placed on a counter. Since we added a new trash bike to Eco Lifestyle, we've made the bicycle helmet available for everyone in Cass. Now you can now fit your sim in a helmet regardless of owning a pack that includes bikes. Sims will now not receive occasional text messages asking them for a date from other sims that they are not romantically involved with because it was awkward. Yes, I agree with that. I would get them all the time from people my sims never even interacted with ever and they weren't even acquaintances with them. It was just weird. Like why? Toddler Sims will not be able to ask for mentoring on some in progress mentoring interactions to strangers except for invite to Bob to music because we can dance if we want to. We can leave our friends behind because your friends don't dance and if they don't dance well they're not friends of mine. <laughs> Fix an issue with textures for the tops and landings on some staircases. Fix an issue that did not allow randomizer to work correctly when male sims had makeup on create a sim. Plants can now be placed closer to foundations with objects cheat enabled as long as most of the plant's footprint is outside of the foundation. Fix an issue in which simoleons were not added to household funds when moving and selling furniture. Fix an issue in which previewing certain windows on diagonal walls reverted their color back to the default color swatch. Simmers on Mac OS Catalina and Intel Iris Plus graphics 640 GPU will no longer experiencing a squared shadow under their sims. Fixed an issue with the wooden prairie style two panel door in which color swatches were not displaying correctly on both sides of the door. Sims now can dispose of packed lunches that have spoiled out foul food. Fix some oddness with disappearing stairs within enclosed courtyards. Fixed a stair issue with landings not working properly on lots with raised foundations and basements. Sims will no longer walk through walls and things should now look appropriate. Fixed missing career promotion screens for careers in various packs. Fixed user interface elements and icons across multiple packs. Spandrels can now be properly applied on fences. Stairs will now not shrink when increasing foundation heights. Wow, that was a lot guys. And there were probably a lot of boo-boos and typos in there that I didn't even notice. Hopefully there aren't many, but now up next is get together. Fix an issue in which non-local townies would spawn in Windenburg's island now named the Crumble Isle. As much as Windenburgians, Windenburgers, Windenburgies, Windenburglites, love visitors from other worlds. They have voted them off the island. Sorry, not sorry. And they also fix an issue that caused an error to occur when deleting or editing clubs. Okay, awesome. Up next, City Living. Living. Fix an issue that caused time to be desynchronized at speed 3, bending the space time continuum no more. Vet clinics can no longer be placed in penthouses. Yard sale customers will no longer wander into Sims' houses and interact with their belongings. While prospective buyers are nice to have in any sale, this was just rude. This is not a welcome wagon. Cats and dogs. Game progress will no longer be lost when editing, adding, or deleting career outfits and create a sim. Fix an issue that made pets needs to not be fulfilled if not playing an active household and pets and poop is now able to be used as plant fertilizer. Happy gardening. I was waiting for them to add this. Okay, I was waiting for them to add this. Up next, season. Sims can now sell flowers in stacks from their inventory. Sims will now appropriately put their umbrellas away before performing some interactions because woohoo while having an umbrella out in the open seems complicated. We are not judging, but it seems complicated. Fix an issue that made Simmer created holidays in the calendar populate after a season ended and Father Winter will now be able to remove his beard and change and create a sim if he is part of an active household. But who would dare shave Father Winter's beard? Who? 
<laughs> Get famous. Fix an issue with the actor career where Sims were unable to complete their gig when they would travel and return home before it was time for the gig. Island living. Lada Cocoladas will now be made with actual coconuts taken from the Sims inventories. What were they made from before? We will never know. Never accept imitation Lada Cocoladas. Never. Fix an issue in which some quick meals were requiring a microwave while being off the grid when it was not needed. Yogurt needing a microwave? I think not. Mermaids in Kratosim will no longer be able to have their traits randomized. This allows them to keep their mermaidism as well as their air for mystery and charm. Mermaids now will wear appropriate career outfits when going to work, so I can picture this now. Mermaids as Doctors would be a great TV show. Dr. Mermaid, Merman, what do you recommend? I am prescribing some vitamin C. Give Rusky more coffee, please. <laughs> Fix an issue in which some Island Living tank tops were categorized incorrectly in Kratosim. Mermaid children made in Kratosim will now grow up to be fully functioning mer adults. The go to work button for odd jobs has been fixed for Sims on vacation. The eyedropper tool will now work on stilts instead of only working on foundation trims. And lastly, fix an issue in which Sims in off the grid lots were showering constantly. Now they will shower when appropriate, though with this heat wave, anything goes, in my opinion. Oh god, up next, Discover University, and this is the last really, really long one. Student Sims will not lose their term presentations board when signing up for another term. Simmers with seasons additionally installed. Student Sims will no longer receive academic probation if they were on planned holidays throughout the calendar. Student Sims will no longer be labeled as graduate after completing the graduation ceremony. Congratulations. Fix an issue in which homework assignment progression was too slow and timers might have been missing in some instances. Fix an issue in which Sims were taking showers fully clothed. As much as the current heat wave is giving us creative ideas to cool off, it would be more efficient to not be fully clothed when showering. A specific hair has been updated for teens, adults, and elders to display all swatches. Similarly, Short Bob Braid Black has been fixed to appear as an option for teens. Sims that re-enroll in university after graduating or dropping out can now rejoin their secret society. Likewise, if Sims get suspended and re-enroll, their progress will not be lost. If a Sim already knows about this secret society, is this still a secret? Time will tell. Fix an issue with the game day glute accommodator chair that occasionally could make Sims invisible if they placed it in their inventory. We don't know what other powers the game day glute accommodator may have, but invisibility is now not one of them. Sims in the law career can now attend depositions from their computers and phones because you don't need to break your computer to complete an assignment that seems impractical. Vampire coffins and sleeping pods can now count as beds in university dorms. Good, they better. Fix an issue in which the write and publish research paper interact would disappear from the options if it was canceled midway. I mean, I understand rage quitting something, but not to the point of my options to do it disappearing, am I right? Fix an issue with dress party solid purple in which pendant necklaces were not able to be seen if this asset was worn by Sims. Fix an issue that could make the soccer interaction study plays with dropout from the interaction queue. Corrected final exam requirements for elective courses to say that for studying they need to do so on computers or research machines. To anyone who may have noticed the tiny head effect in the thumbnails, if you wore the dragon or the lobster mascot costume without their hats, that issue has been fixed. And lastly, humanoid robots will no longer be able to have traits or aspirations modified in create a sim. You are a real sim to me, robot friend. You are to me. <laughs> Outdoor retreat, there's only one fix. The herbalism recipe can now work well off the grid. However, only on off the grid supported stoves. Dine out, random NPCs will not leave hamburgers on tables at restaurants anymore. As much as we like to receive free food, we don't think it is proper to get them randomly from a stranger. Vampires, vampire sims working on the master vampire aspiration will no longer have the task survive for an additional 20 days as a vampire reset after traveling. Vampire sims with full sun resistance are now able to properly tend to gardens and not tend to plants at one time. 
Next, an issue in which you could set the registered vampire lair lot trait for venues. Vampire child ears can now be changed after being aged down from adult dark form, and the rustic candle chandelier now has flame effects on the candles. Ooh. Only one fix for jungle adventure, fans slash stands will no longer follow their adored celebrity into the jungles of Selva Dorada. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Realm of Magic. Spellcasters have regained access to styled looks. A spellcaster is never not in vogue, but it's always nice to have options. Fix an issue in which a tank top belonging to this pack was not categorized correctly in Create a Sam. Hot tubs that have been upgraded to Unbreakable will no longer be broken upon performing the Zip Zap spell. Mosquito, we fix an issue in which some hotkeys in photo mode, particularly E and Q, were not working. After popular demand, the Liberian bookend will now cost simoleons. Nothing's for free, nothing's for free, take it away. Tiny living, Murphy beds will now be more resilient after first use. Warranty terms pending. We have also adjusted their pricing and comfort levels. Bang for your buck. Fix an issue in which game consoles were not usable with the all-in-one entertainment systems. Now the media marathoner all on the wall will actually be the media marathoner all on the wall. Fix an issue in which hairstyles from this pack appeared with their color swatches out of order in Create a Sim. Fix an issue in which Sims could not put up their Murphy beds after Woohoo. Wow, guys, that's it. That was long. That was crazy. Lots of new stuff coming to the game for free. Lots of bug fixes and glitch updates as per usual. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. What is your favorite part of this patch update and what are you looking forward to most when you update your game? Of course, this is available right now for free. It is brand new. You can do this right now. Just launch your game like normal. Make sure you have automatic updates turned on in Origin and your game should automatically update. If not, just right click on your game in Origin and hit update and this will all be installed free of charge for you. I love you guys so much. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, found it entertaining and informative, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorites playlist right here on YouTube. Subscribe to become a supporter today and ding the bell next to it to receive notifications for any type of future upload on the channel so that you can be a part of the notification squad. You can follow me on social media that includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitch, and more links are down below. And there's also a link to my merch store where 100% of revenue will be donated to COVID-19 relief from now until the end of the year. Love you guys and I'll see you all next time. I'm out of breath. <gasps> so long.